Yeah. How were the exams? Yes, exams went good, sir. Good. Okay. That's that's uh yeah. So that's nice to hear. Yes, uh, Amira, and how was your exam? Sir, it was alhamdulillah good. Uh, alhamdulillah, it finished today. Oh, it uh, got uh, finished today. Good. So everybody, you guys are okay. So we have uh, done or got over with uh, all of your exams, right? So maybe yeah, maybe you guys can uh, enjoy. Let's say three to four days, and then get back to the preparation, right? So we have free both as soon as the exam, like the winter breaks, get over. Oh, okay. So the winter break, uh, they are starting. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. It yeah, so, yeah, so you guys have to utilize uh, this winter vacation very, very wisely. Yeah, you guys uh, make a timetable and uh, yeah, assign some chapters. So you guys uh, set some uh, daily targets. Okay. And let's uh, assume that uh, you somehow complete that target daily. Let's say you make a target from physics you will uh, complete one chapter from math you will complete one chapter or something like this whatever whatever time do you have and uh, yeah so make some timetable according to that and always uh, try to achieve your complete your target on that day right and uh, yeah let's say before your main exam so that will start in 15th February so let's say in uh, January 31st or 1st uh, February, you guys uh, complete that uh, uh, revision, right? So you guys complete all that uh, chapters. And then you guys can revise again all the questions. Please uh, make that target uh, accordingly. Okay. Oh, who got uh, disconnected? Got uh, disconnected. Yeah, please uh, make some time to Okay, guys. Make some timetable and uh, divide your time according to that. These moments, they are very crucial uh, times because uh, that will decide your marks in the final exam, right? So let us wait for others to join. And yes, uh, Shweb, Aslam Alaikum, where is your friend? Where is your Shaitan friend, Rizwan? Okay, I should uh, talk to him. Okay. Don't know, sir. Oh, you don't know. Oh, so first time everybody heard your voice. MashaAllah. <laughs> first time everybody heard your voice. So this is the first time that you have talked in uh, our class. Special. Yeah, so who know about Rizwan? Maybe he is uh, yeah, so he has made some timetable already and uh, he is uh, doing his uh, preparations. Maybe I should talk to him. Okay. Yeah, so Shweb and Tejas, we, we are doing this uh, coordinate geometry revision. And uh, after this uh, coordinate geometry, we will again uh, take some vote. And uh, whatever chapter you guys want to revise, other than polynomial, quadratic equation, linear equation, AP, and uh, coordinate geometry, other than these uh, chapters, maybe. Uh, statistics also and uh, probability. So other than these chapters, whatever chapters you guys want to revise, because these things we have done quite a lot of times, right? So chapters we will skip. Or if, uh, again, you guys have some uh, problems, then we can talk about that. But uh, yeah, after this uh, section formula, we will start here. OK, yes, uh, hello, Aisha, assalamu alaikum. Okay, so uh, did you guys, last time Abir has sent me those uh, problems, so those three problems that I, oh, Abir has also joined, so only Abir has sent me those problems, what about you guys? Did you guys uh, not try that problem? So yeah, you guys had those uh, exams, yeah. I can understand, but today everybody got over with their exams. Yeah, you guys, buckle up, happy vacations, but uh, yeah, you guys should uh, focus on the preparation. Okay. 
Okay, so everybody today, every everybody is joining. Good. Yes, sir. Hello, Shaima. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sir. What about uh, those homeworks? Yeah, did you try those homeworks? Uh, or did you also forget? Yes, you also forgot. Okay, no worries, no worries. Because I can understand that you guys have those uh, other exams and you guys are preparing, and you guys have hectic schedule. Uh, yeah, so. Yes, hello, Abhi. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Islam, sir. How are you? Okay, yeah. What happened? Yes. Yes, uh, so Abhi, only you have sent me those uh, homework. Uh, and everybody, yeah, forgot. Uh, yeah. In the next time, please, uh, please uh, send me those homework, guys. Uh, right. So let us uh, start, right? Uh, what we were doing. We completed that. Uh, <laughs> we completed this uh, distance uh, formula question, right? Oh. So 38 and 39, did you guys uh, try this one? Yes? Did you guys uh, try this one? What is Sir, it? I tried, but I could. Oh. oh, so you tried. Okay, no worries. Yeah. The trying part is important, right? At least you guys uh, yeah, thought about uh, this question. Okay, so let us... Uh, this last question and remember this 30 and 39 are similar ones right they are uh, similar questions so we'll uh, only do the first one okay so let us do the 38th one and then we'll move on to the section problem so what is uh, this question and hopefully my internet uh, doesn't give me some uh, headaches let's look at that so the base BC of an equilateral triangle ABC lies on the y axis, right? So let's say we have this uh, BC on the y axis, and uh, the center of uh, this, uh, the origin is the midpoint of the base, right? So BC is the base, and this is uh, the midpoint, which means that uh, this distance is equal to this distance, right? So now you guys can tell me what would be the coordinate of this point? What would be the coordinate of this point? Can you guys uh, tell me? 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. 0, 0,3. 0,3. So everybody is uh, agreeing, right? We have to cover equal distance. Whatever distance uh, we have covered uh, in reaching here. So we have covered 1, 2, 3. So that is uh, minus 3. Then we have to go again the same distance because this is the midpoint. So whatever distance we have covered this part, we have to cover same distance above. So one, two, three. So this would be zero comma three. Now uh, ABC is uh, an equilateral triangle, right? So let's assume that uh, we don't know if this point will lie on here, or and we already know that this will uh, surely lie on this line because this is the perpendicular so perpendicular would be the vertices right so the other point will lie on this point but uh, we don't know right so let's say that uh, this point is uh, yeah we don't know about uh, this point so let's say this is uh, x comma c right now can you guys uh, tell me that, uh, yeah, can you guys uh, figure out that what would be the x point? How can we calculate this point? Sir, 3 comma 0. 3 comma 0. Already can calculate it. Why 3 comma 0? Yes. Sir, 6 comma 0. Since we the base is 6 units. Yeah, so this base is six units, but uh, 
we don't know if, if this is the six of Bhagwan Sikh part. But okay, let me show you one question and then this will be it. So there are lots of questions that we have done like that. So let's say if you take uh, this question, right? P is uh, two comma four. That is equidistance from Q bar. So we have to use if two bar uh, thirty three bar. If vertices of an equal triangle are this, find uh, the third uh, vertex, right? So we can use uh, this thing also, right? Let's uh, assume. Yeah, we know that this will lie on this axis, but uh, let's assume that this is the uh, y, right? So let's assume that uh, this is the uh, y. So now, uh, what uh, do we know? What do we know? Yes? Sir, all three sides are equal. Yeah, all three sides are equal. So BC, right, whatever this BC is, that would be equal to this uh, AB. That would be equal to this uh, AC. So AB is uh, how much? Six. And uh, AC is uh, six. Right. These are the two things that we so using these two things, how many unknowns do we have? How many unknowns do we have? The A. We have our two, right? X and Y, because we want to find uh, the two quadrants. So there are two unknowns, and uh, we have these uh, two equations, right? Use these two, and uh, tell me what would be X and Y. Use uh, these two. If you, uh, yeah, so did you guys understand uh, this problem? Yes? Did you guys understand this problem? Yes, sir. Okay, so please uh, solve this A, B, and A, C and uh, tell me what you guys are getting. Please uh, solve this one. And you can also use A, B equal to A, C. So all these uh, things, you guys, uh, please use uh, these things and uh, tell me what uh, you will get. Yeah, I didn't pick uh, this point as zero because uh, I, let's say I don't know that uh, this is not lying on the x axis, right? So let's uh, pick a random one. And uh, we will see eventually that that y will be zero. But uh, yeah, let us focus on this uh, part. Yeah, whenever you guys uh, get some answers, please uh, tell me. And if you guys have any doubts, then also please uh, tell me. Sir, X is 3 root 3. X is 3 root 3. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, X is uh, 3 root 3. What about Y? Did you get y equals to zero? Yes, sir. Y equals to zero. Hmm. So, uh, B and A, what about x? Cells what? of x now. I only got y. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, then uh, solve uh, for x and uh, check. So, Shaima, you check for y and uh, B, you check for uh, o, x.
Yes, uh, what about all of you guys? Uh, did you understand uh, the problem? Yeah, this one is a lengthy question, but you guys have already done this lengthiest uh, question. Yeah, 24th one was the biggest. You guys have done all these kind of questions, so Yes. What about uh, all of you guys? Uh, Shwee, Baisha, Shishri, Amar, and uh, Amida, what about you guys? Mm, uh, should I do this problem? Okay, so let us uh, try this, right? And if I get stuck, then Shyam and Abhid. What do I know? I know that uh, AC. AC would be how much? So let's say AC is uh, top. This is uh, x minus 0 square plus y minus of uh, minus 3. So this is uh, AC. So this is x plus y plus 3. Hold, uh, oh, this is square, right? x minus 0 square. So this is uh, E. And uh, this is uh, equal to, yeah, we'll uh, get back to this part later. And uh, also we know that, uh, oh, Shweb also got uh, 3 root 3 and yes, uh, Shweb. And uh, we also know that AB is uh, how much? So AB is uh, X, uh, Again, square plus y minus 3 to square. So this is uh, this one. And uh, we already know that we can uh, find uh, the relation between uh, the equidistant point, right? So if these are two variables, then we can always find the relation. So how do we find that? So we will use uh, this thing. We will use this thing that uh, ac equals to a. So that would uh, give us x square plus uh, y plus 3 whole square. And uh, then uh, we have uh, x square plus uh, y minus 3 uh, whole square. So this, and if you square this thing, so then what uh, we'll get? We will get uh, x square plus uh, y plus 3 whole square. And uh, also, we will get uh, x squared plus y minus 3 whole square. So, this part will cancel out. Uh, then we'll have x squared plus uh, 6y plus uh, 9. Right. And then we have uh, y squared minus 6y plus 9. So, this part cancels out. This part cancels out. And uh, we have this one, so 6y plus uh, 6y. That is zero. So 12y is zero, so y is how much? Zero. Right, so y we have got uh, zero. Now, uh, in any of the equation, right, let's say ab. ab is equal to 6. So if we put uh, ab equal to 6, then what was the ab? So AB was x squared plus y minus 3 whole square. And this is uh, 6. So we have to square this thing. So that would be x squared plus y minus 3 whole square. And uh, this is uh, 36. And we already know what is y. y is 0. This is uh, x squared plus uh, 3 squared, which is 9. 
and uh, 36. So x square uh, 36 minus 9. That is 27 x square. So x is uh, how much? x uh, would be, right, x would be root of uh, 27. So that would be, how can I write as uh, 3 into 3? Three, so one three, we can take it out from this pair. So three three, and plus minus. So what we can write? What uh, did they tell us? So the origin is uh, the midpoint, and uh, find uh, the coordinates of the points. A and uh, B. So A. A can be what? A can be uh, y is 0, right? So A can be this thing also. So this is uh, 3 root 3 comma 0. And we can also have uh, this as uh, A. Right? So this can be also minus uh, 3 root 3 comma 0. So this can also be the point. Right? So let's say if I choose this as A, then uh, this would be my D point, right? If uh, I take a rhombus, so rhombus is also the same size, right? So then if I take this as A part, so then this would be D. So the coordinates of A can be this thing, right? And if I choose plus 3 root 3, then the coordinate of D would be minus 3 root 3 comma 0. If I choose A as minus 3 root 3, then coordinate of D would be the other side, right? So if I choose uh, A to be this, then this would be D. If I choose A to be this, then this would be D. Because in the next part, they are telling us that find, uh, also find the coordinates of another point D such that B A C D is a wrong one, right? So if I want to make this uh, A, B, and uh, C, and uh, D rhombus, then I have to make another equal distance, uh, equidistance point, right? So I already know that the equidistant uh, point is this one. So another equidistant point would be this one. So in that way, I can make uh, the rhombus. In, in, in that way, all the uh, distances, let's say C, what should I write? Let's say, uh, e. All these uh, distances would be seen. So this was uh, the question. Right. Uh, now, uh, did you guys understand uh, this part? So Abir and Sharma and uh, Shwe, uh, they solved this problem. What about you guys? Uh, is this uh, clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Please uh, note it down and got this connected. So you guys please uh, note it down and the 39th one is the same one. So then do not uh, do this question, right? The base QR of uh, an equilateral triangle lies on X axis. So only the difference is uh, the axis, right? Only the difference is uh, axis, but rest of the question uh, is the uh, same. Yeah, you guys, please note it down. Whenever you guys have moved it, please tell me. And then we'll move on to the next part. So this relation you guys have already learned from the previous question. This relation we have all, already used in the previous question. So the only part that we had to do is that combine those uh, right? Yeah, whenever you guys have completed uh, this.
whenever you guys have no trailer, that. So if uh, coordinate can be three, three comma zero or uh, minus three root three comma zero, and if you choose uh, this coordinate, then d would be minus three root three zero, or if you choose this, then d would be three root three comma. Because they have not specified that uh, A is in the positive side of X axis, right? If they would have specified that uh, A point is uh, on the positive X axis, then we could have only written this part. But uh, this case is also possible, right? Yeah, whenever you guys have noted. Uh, Done. Done, everyone. Okay, so yeah, I will uh, leave the last question to all of you. Right, right. Okay, so only difference in the last question is uh, for the axis that uh, they have chosen is uh, different. So 38, 1. 38, 1 uh, was uh, on the y axis. Base was in the 38, base was on the y axis. In the 39th uh, question, in the 39th uh, question, the base QR is uh, on the x-axis and uh, the origin is the midpoint of the base. So if this is the midpoint of the base, this is, uh, which one is uh, Q? So Q and uh, R. Right, this is uh, Q, R. And if this is minus four comma zero, then Amar, tell me what would be this point? What would be this point? If this is the midpoint of uh, this thing, right? So what would be this point? Zero comma four. Mm hmm. So this is uh, x axis only, right? Ah, uh, four comma zero. Absolutely correct. So this would be four comma zero, right? Yeah. And uh, if you guys uh, remember the text, which uh, we will learn in the next. Uh, Next uh, part, so we already know that this is zero comma zero. We know this point and from midpoint uh, section formula, we can calculate this. But uh, yeah, this, these are on the X axis, so we don't need to use that uh, section formula, right? Midpoint formula will not use that. Uh, but we can also calculate uh, from midpoint formula, this uh, coordinate we can always uh, calculate. So this is four comma zero. And then they are saying that uh, ultimately we will get uh, the vertex at this point. Yeah, this P A would be here, but uh, we have to find uh, what are the coordinates. And again, you guys uh, can tell me that X, O, which part would be zero in here? If you will calculate this question, which part would be zero? X would be zero. X would be zero, right? So remember, you can have, uh, you you will have two solutions. 
one would be that uh, they have mentioned uh, yeah, the coordinates, find the coordinates of P and R. Yeah. So uh, they have not uh, mentioned about any uh, specification. So your P can be here or can be here also, right? So you guys will get two values of Y. This is uh, your practice uh, question. Right, please uh, do this uh, question at your home. And if you get any problem, then please uh, tell me. Yeah, we'll uh, leave this part uh, here and then we will start uh, the next uh, part, right? So the next part is uh, about section uh, formula, right? So I will not do the derivation, right? I will directly write uh, the result. Let's say I have uh, these uh, coordinates, right? And in our syllabus, in our syllabus, uh, the point that uh, we will be taking would be inside uh, that line segment, right? So let's say we have uh, this line. This is point A and uh, B. Right. And let's say if we choose uh, some point, uh, this one has uh, x1 and uh, y1 coordinate. This one has uh, x2 and uh, y2 coordinate. Then if I choose uh, any point, right, let's say this point, and uh, the coordinates of this point is x, y. So this point will divide uh, this line into parts. One would be this. The other would be this, right? So this is uh, this C point is dividing this line in two sections. One is uh, AC, and the other one is uh, BC. So AC and uh, BC they would be divided in different uh, sections, right? Let's say this part is uh, M to ratio. This part is nth ratio, right? So from this uh, m and n, we can find out using the section formula this uh, coordinate. What would be the coordinate so that uh, this coordinate divides this line in m and n uh, ratio? That is uh, the question, right? So from a uh, section formula, from section formula, we can always write the coordinates of uh, this C point. So x would be mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, and uh, y would be my2 plus uh, ny1 divided by m plus n. So this, these are the two coordinates which will divide this line in two parts. So this is a section of the right. And uh, if if you have a C point, which is the midpoint, then this M and N would be same. So ratio would be one one, right? So for a midpoint, for a midpoint, we have you always uh, remember that, that x would be simply x1 plus x2 by 2 and uh, y would simply y1 plus y2 by 2. So let's say that, uh, let's say that uh, if we have uh, this point uh, 3 comma 4, this point uh, 5 comma 7, so if I want to calculate the midpoint, so that would be 5 plus 3. 8 by 2, 4 and 7 for 11 by 2, 5.5. 5. So this would be the midpoint. I can always calculate uh, the midpoint, right? So ratio is 1 and 5. So these are uh, the things that we need to remember. And uh, we have to uh, also remember that uh, if they say, if they say to find out find out the ratio 
right so then in these uh, type of question you have to always uh, assume always assume ratio pk is to 1 right so this is uh, the simplest idea that uh, we will use so let's say if this is a b and you know this thing also x and y you also know you also know uh, x1 and y1 and you also know x2 and y2 then you have to assume to calculate this one and this one you have to assume that this is k and this is 1 so then uh, you can find k so whenever they, they will tell you to find out the ratio right M and uh, N, they will tell you to find out, then always write the ratio as K is to 1, right? And if you get uh, K as fraction, let's say 3 by 2, so M would be 3 and uh, 2 would be N. So this is the idea, these are the idea that uh, they will use in section probably. Okay, so yeah, you guys know that part already, but uh, you have to just revise this part. You guys, please quickly note it down. I guess you don't need to put it down again. But yeah, if you write it down, then you will uh, remember this a long time, right? So please uh, note it down. Quickly note it down, and then uh, NCR part, NCRT part is uh, at your hands, and uh, we'll do the other uh, other questions. So it was NCRT we have done already. You guys can look into that, but uh, other type of uh, questions. <laughs> yeah, quickly note it down and tell me whenever you have. Yeah, and uh, Shaima and uh, Amira, they have, uh, and also. Aisha, I guess. They have uh, Tejasvi also, right? So all of uh, these people have sent uh, those question papers in the group. And the uh, rest of uh, you guys, please also send uh, those uh, question papers so that it will act as a sample paper, right? Then you guys can interchange uh, the, uh, papers and uh, yeah, exchange those papers. And then you can practice those uh, papers, right? So let's say if you have uh, that you guys, uh, how many of you guys are here? Eight people. Then you can you guys can uh, solve eight uh, different question papers, right? So that will uh, give you some confidence. That will boost your uh, yeah. So that will boost your confidence. <laughs> Please uh, share those question papers you have, and uh, rest of uh, the people. Please try to solve them. And if you guys uh, face any problem, any doubt, please uh, let's discuss this question with us. Right. Yeah, whenever you guys want me to scroll down, please that I tell you. Done, sir. Done. All of you guys uh, noted? Yes, I noted. Okay, then, yeah, please also note this. Right. So if you write uh, something many a times, then uh, you guys can remember that thing for a longer period of time, right? So that is why I'm making you guys to now on this, which you have already noted, right? But if you write it many a times, then you so do this thing for uh, chemistry and uh, yeah, those uh, subjective uh, questions because uh, many a times we'll forget. So write, uh, write down, practice that thing many a times, then you can. Yeah, whenever you guys have a uh, technique, then we'll do. 
uh, lots of uh, questions. And uh, maybe, uh, so basically we complete this part, so then you guys will vote, and then we'll do that uh, chapter. So in the next class, please uh, come up with uh, some chapters that you want to discuss again, and then we will start that chapter. Other than the previous, uh, previous Noted, sir. Then, okay. Yes, so now let us do some This is the That I have to find. Let's see how many questions we can. Oh, 43. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we will be skipping some question and you guys will be practicing. Right, so find uh, the coordinates of a point. Uh, yeah, this one is from the NCRT. Find the coordinates of a point A where A, B, is uh, a diameter of uh, the circle with center. So center is given. B is point uh, with coordinates. Uh, so we are using, right. Remember, we can have We have first uh, section formula, this thing. We have a midpoint formula, and uh, the third one is the ratio. So these are the three kinds of questions that we will have. Okay. So in the you guys will tell me which one we will use. So we have this circle, right? And let's say this is uh, the center, and this is uh, the diameter, right? Let's say this is a b diameter. So, Amar, for this AB line, for this AB line, what kind of point is this uh, center in? Midpoint. Midpoint, absolutely right. So, this is uh, the midpoint, right? This is midpoint, so we will use the midpoint uh, formula. This B we know, that is uh, 3, 4. So, we have to find out uh, X, uh, Y. Right. Use the midpoint formula and uh, tell me what would be this uh, x and uh, y. Yeah, please uh, calculate and tell me what would be x and y. You have to use the midpoint formula, right?
already know the midpoints right so minus 2 is the midpoint and that would be x plus the 3 by 2 similarly this 2 would be y plus 4 by 2 so this would be minus 4 is x plus 3 so x is uh, minus 7 and then you have uh, this 2 into 4 is uh, y plus 4, so y is uh, 3, right? Yeah, so this is uh, the answer, Amar. Yes, did you get that? Yes. Okay, so now this is same question, right? And then, uh, yeah, this one is uh, somewhat different, but uh, this you guys can do. Then, uh, is you also can give it this one, but yeah, in the third one, you have to just apply all the things are given, you have to just apply the second problem. So that's why I'm leaving that part. You guys, uh, do that part in the fourth one, right? Try section meaning three equal parts, right? So this one, this one, this one. All these three are equal. So if I take this P point, then ratio would be 1 and uh, 2. Right. And if I take uh, this Q point, then ratio would be and 1. So this is the only thing that we have to Remember in this part, you guys please uh, practice this uh, question. And uh, do this problem, and in the next class, if you guys have some uh, doubts, then you can. But you guys, uh, please practice that part, right? So whenever try section is given, which means that uh, there are uh, three divisions, and all them are same. We have, let's say, what was that? Four section, or what we call quattro section. Yeah, so something like that. So there would be four uh, divisions. If it is dividing in four equal parts, then there would be three points, then we have to calculate. Right? End points will always be given. End points will always be given, and uh, you have to calculate uh, the things we have to calculate. Yeah, we skip these uh, parts, and uh, let us move on to this one. So if uh, A, B, C, and uh, D are the vertices of parallelogram, then the value of uh, X is uh, 1, right? This is a different one. This is the parallelogram. So A, is 1 comma 3 minus 1 comma 2 comma 5 and uh, x comma 
right? Then the value of uh, x is so we have to figure out uh, this value. So one way is to do this problem using what? You can do this problem using uh, what? There are two ways, right? Distance formula. Distance formula, yes, absolutely right. We can apply the distance formula. So this distance would be equal to this. From this distance, we will get a d equation in the form of uh, x. And uh, from this part, uh, we'll get uh, the value, right? So then we will equate uh, a d and b uh, c. And then uh, we will get the value of so this is one method, and we can also use this uh, section formula, right? So we can also use the property of uh, property of diagonal. So, what is the property of diagonals of uh, parallelogram? They are each other. Yeah, so they are what? Uh, bisect each other, yes. So they bisect each other. So this, whatever the, whatever this point is, so that would be the midpoint of this thing, and that would be the midpoint of this thing as well, right? So this is uh, divided by this thing, and this is divided by this. So this is the midpoint of AC, Right, let's say this is O. O is the uh, midpoint of uh, AC. Right. So then let's say, yeah, X is already there. So what coordinate we should choose? Uh, what coordinate? Let's say Y, Z. These are the two coordinates uh, that we pick. So y is uh, the midpoint of uh, y is the x coordinate. So this is very confusing. What should I choose? Let's say a b. Let's say I pick a. So a is the x coordinate of uh, a, right? And uh, for uh, this d b. This will also be the x coordinate. So let us calculate uh, the x coordinate a from uh, a. So that would be how much? That would be one plus two by two. So that would be three by two, right? Yes, sir. Similarly, if we take uh, O is uh, midpoint of uh, B D. Right, uh, then what uh, we can uh, tell. So then we can write that A would be how much? A would be how much? You guys <laughs> calculate. A would, uh, you mean? Yes. X yes. minus one by two. X minus one. Right. Yeah, is that correct, everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, so yes. yeah, so we see that uh, these are the same point. This is A, this is B. So these are the same points. So if we compare these two, then uh, we'll get what? 3 by 2 is x minus 1 by 2. We cancel. And uh, 3 is what? So x is uh, 2. So this point is 4, comma 4, right? This was uh, the equation. And uh, we could have, uh, let's say, if we didn't know this coordinate, then as well, uh, we could have calculated this, right? So then using the B coordinate, we can have also calculated this Y part, right? So always uh, remember in these kind of parallelograms, square uh, and what uh, rectangles, because all these uh, quadrilaterals bisect uh, so their diagonals bisect each other, right? And rhombus also. So all these uh, quadrilateral diagonals, they bisect each other. 
So we have to uh, remember that property and using that we can calculate cost. Yeah, you guys, uh, please uh, note it down and then I will assign you guys some questions. And uh, yeah, in the next class, we will hurry up and I uh, will quickly finish. And if there is some doubts that still uh, persist, please uh, tell me, right? So if you guys uh, voted, majority of guys, you guys voted for coordinate geometry. After this one, we will start. Maybe triangle or circle. What is the difficulty? Trying the yeah, application. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shama, what are you saying? So chapter triangle. Yeah, triangle. So start that. Right. For me, or the whole in this whole book, yeah, triangle and circle when triangle. Circles. Because sometimes I don't know what uh, property we have to use. And then if we don't have any final goal set, then we cannot uh, reach the answer, right? In this type of uh, question, you have some final goal, right? But in triangles, uh, we don't know how what uh, what we should use. Because sometimes you can uh, you have you have to make some extra constructions. And uh, yeah. okay, whenever you guys have voted it out, please tell me and then yeah. Let's see, guys. Maybe if tomorrow is not equal. To or maybe. And then, yeah, happy vacations, guys. Don't enjoy too much, but enjoy at least and uh, make a time tip, right? Manage your time very uh, carefully, very wisely. Yeah, Amar, you be. Uh, so, are you please don't do but uh, rest of you guys there. Uh, Noted, sir. Noted. Okay, so yes, happy vacation, guys, and uh, see you guys maybe tomorrow or maybe on Wednesday. I will try to motivate you guys. When the dirty motive is for me, then. Bye, guys. Love, sir. And you guys have this, uh, yeah, if you guys have some time, then you guys have also this uh, uh, class assignment, right? So that is on section formula. So if you guys see, and then you guys can uh, attempt that class. Bye, guys. Love, bye, bye, bye. Not everybody. Bye, sir. Bye bye. And Amar, um, you please uh, stay right. All the people uh, left. Yes. So Amar, um, tell me what is uh, what is the chapter that is uh, giving you some problem? Yes. What's um, also? Yeah, in the meantime, let me have some, right? One moment. Yes, uh, Amar. So, what is uh, the doubt? Or what are the doubts? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I forgot to answer that for the chapter. Yeah, yeah, please, please, yeah. 
and please don't panic right so you know everything but uh, yeah sometimes you get uh, afraid of some question right so carefully just you have to carefully read uh, those uh, questions right repeat those questions many times and eventually you will understand that uh, Yes, sir. So, trigonometry. Oh, trigonometry. So, this is the culprit. Introduction to trigonometry. Yeah. So, do you have any specific questions that you want to ask? No, sir. Like I just want to go through the basics one more time. Yeah, basics. Okay. So, each time, trigonometry, what uh, did we need? In a trigonometry, we learned uh, three things, right? First one was uh, the ratio. Right, uh, the first uh, thing that uh, we learned was ratio. Okay, so before trigonometry, what was the chapter that uh, we before trigonometry, trigonometry is uh, the oh before trigonometry there was this uh, coordinate geometry right. So the uh, before uh, coordinate geometry we learned about triangle right. So trigonometry uh, uses uh, the idea of triangles and uh, to be more precise we uh, talk about all the properties. Associated with right angle triangle, right? So, whenever uh, trigonometry comes, you will have to remember that we are talking about what kind of triangle? We are only talking about right angle triangle, right? Right angle triangle, one angle would be 90 degrees. And uh, in this one, in right angle triangle, you will have three sides. Right, and uh, three angles. So one angle would obviously, in three angles, one angle would be obviously 90. Right, and then the rest of the angle you can uh, pick. And uh, in three sides, right, in three sides, Opposite to 90 degree will always be hypotenuse. Right. So you can identify the hypotenuse very easily. Whenever you see any right uh, angle, then opposite to that angle would be hypotenuse. And then the perpendicular and base depends upon the what angle that you choose. So let's say if you choose uh, this angle, right, then this uh, would be the base because this is making this angle, right? So if you pick uh, this theta, then the base is this and uh, this is the perpendicular. Right, but uh, let's say if you pick uh, this angle, right, let's say alpha for alpha right uh, this would be the base so i should uh, name differently right so let's say for theta so is alpha and theta equal no 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 they are they are not equal right they can be equal if this is isosceles triangle if this is isosceles isosceles triangle no, so so if if uh, if ninety degree comes okay, then it'll obviously be uh, what equal, yeah. right? So they would be complementary, right? They would be complementary, not equal. So if this is a theta, then this would be ninety minus theta, right? So if this is thirty, then this would be sixty. They can uh, 
yeah at one point uh, only they would be equal if this is 45 then this would be 45 so at this point only they would be equal but other than that they would be different right clear yes yeah so yes uh, good good uh, that you asked this uh, question right so because uh, we know that let's say a b and uh, c so we always know that angle a plus b plus c that would be how much that would be 180 and b is already 90 so a plus c would be 180 minus b which is 90 so that would be 90 and if the sum of two angles are uh, 90 so they are called what they are complementary angles right so if this is uh, 30 so this would be 60 if this is uh, 70 so this would be 20 and uh, so on so if we, we pick uh, theta then base would be bc and uh, perpendicular would be and if we pick uh, alpha, then base would be AB and uh, perpendicular would be BC. So this is the first thing that we have to identify. First, we have to identify all the base sides, all the angles. Second thing that we know already in triangle is that uh, Pythagoras theorem. Right, so if we have a right angle triangle, then uh, we know that this is hypotenuse, let's say this is perpendicular. Right, and this is a base. So perpendicular square plus base square, that is hypotenuse square. So that is uh, the Pythagoras theorem, right? Right, uh, Amas? Yes. Yeah. So this one is uh, this, and uh, using uh, these two ideas, then we define some ratios, right? So those are called uh, trigonometric uh, ratios. And what are trigonometric ratios? So they relate. They relate sides with uh, angle right so these are the purpose of trigonometric ratios and there are particularly three main are trigonometric ratios right so let's say if i pick a theta this is base this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse so sine function of theta this relates perpendicular and hypotenuse and then we have cos theta, this relates base and hypotenuse. And then we have tan theta, this relates perpendicular and base. And uh, these are the three main ones. And then we define the reciprocal of these uh, things. So then we have H by P, that is defined by cosec theta. Then we have reciprocal, which is H by B, that is defined by sec theta. And then we have B by P, that is defined by quadrant theta. So these are the reciprocal of sine, cos, and uh, tan. So this is what we call a trigonometric ratio. And uh, these uh, three are also uh, related with each other, right? So if we divide uh, sine theta with uh, cos theta, so then we will get a uh, tan theta. So this is the relation between these uh, three uh, ratios, right? And remember that this sine theta is not sine into theta, right? So this is not multiplication, this is operation, this is a function. So this comes together, sine of function of uh, theta. Right. So, yeah, this is the first uh, part that we learn in the first exercise 
in the second exercise, we learn uh, about the values of uh, trigonometric uh, ratios. at a specific uh, angle. Right, so how do we that? So we have to remember this uh, table, right. So let's say this is uh, theta. This is zero, this is 30, 45, and 60, and 90. And then we have ratios so of sine uh, theta. This is zero, then half, then one by root two, then root three by two, then one. And that in uh, cos theta we take in the reverse order. So 1, 3 by 2, and uh, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. And then tan theta is the division of these two. So 0 by 1 is 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 3 by 2, 1 by root 3, this is 1. This is root 3, 1 by 0 is undefined. And then we have uh, And then we have cosec theta. So cosec theta is reciprocal of sine. So 1 by 0 is undefined. 1 by this is 2 by root 3, 1. Then uh, sec theta, which is reciprocal of cos theta. So 1 by 1 is 1. This is 2 by root 3. This is root 2. This is 2 and undefined. And then we have cot theta. So this is 1 by 0, which is undefined, 3, 1, 1 by 3, and uh, 0. So this is uh, what we call uh, the values of trigonometric ratio at specific angle. Right, so do you remember this table? So like, is there a way to remember it? Like, I mean, I can raise some, but... Yeah, yeah, so if... Let's say, if you know this one, then you can uh, write all the other ones, right? But uh, yeah, this is important because uh, you have to remember all the values, right? Uh, in this question, they may ask that uh, what would be, let's say, cos uh, 60 into sine uh, 30. Then you have to remember all these, uh, right? So this was uh, the thing that we did in the second exercise. And then in the last one, in the last one, uh, we talked about the relation, relation between trigonometric ratios. And, uh, we specifically talk about trigonometric identities, right? Trigonometric uh, identities. So they, these were three. So one was uh, this one, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. That was one. Then we had, uh, what was the second one? Do you remember? Yeah, what was the second one? Second one was sec square theta minus tan square theta. That was one, and the third one was uh, cosec square theta minus cos square theta. That was one. So these were the three main uh, trigonometric identities, right? So these are the three things that we did in the introduction trigonometric part. And this was uh, the major uh, of uh, the right. So in this exercise, uh, we had to use all these uh, three uh, trigonometric identities, right? And in this exercise, uh, the trick that I told you, 
guys that uh, whenever you guys are stuck so always write everything in the form of sign and uh, positive then you guys can uh, solve any trigonometric uh, equation right so that was uh, the thing okay so please uh, note down all these parts right that we have that we have already noted it but if you write it down again then maybe you could uh, uh, yeah. and uh, then we'll talk about some questions that you have some doubt question part you will tell me what is the question that you want to talk right but before you do that please uh, note down on these parts Yeah, whenever you want me to store down, please do it. So I finished writing, but uh, can you wait one second? There's someone at the door. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, whenever you return, please give me a sign. Okay. Someone is at the door. Yeah, please, uh, whenever you return, please. Yes, sir.
Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you are sounding different, right? Yeah. Please uh, note it down. Yeah. Right. Down. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, and then on the basis of these uh, concepts, please solve some questions. And uh, whenever you find any difficulty, any problem that you have, please, uh, please take, right? But first you try some question. And uh, if you find some problem in some of the question, please uh, take. Yes, uh, whenever you have noted it down and you want to, to scroll down, please. So, can you scroll it down? It's a little more down, so. Yeah, okay.
Yeah, uh, noted. Yes. Oh, no, sir. This I'm running sec sec theta. Yeah, so because I have this another class at nine. Okay. Yeah. So you please uh, take this screenshot, right? And uh, please do some uh, calculation on the basis of these, uh, right? And in the next class, please uh, we can.